What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new news video. Today what I got for you guys, I'm going to show you how to claim the new Ghost Condemned Operator skin in Warzone 2 and in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. I'm going to section off the video into a bunch of different parts, how to get it, what the rewards are going to be, and why it's actually going to be available for you to get in Warzone 2 and in multiplayer. If you find the video informative or helpful at any point, consider hitting that subscribe button so you always stay up to date on the latest Call of Duty news and updates. And also be sure to check out yesterday's video that covered all the Season 5 Reloaded updates and rewards. But anyways, before we get into today's topic a quick word from our sponsor messy modding store it's a store that provides any and all call of duty services they can even get you exclusive operators and bundles such as the nuke operator the burger king as well as the gilly outfit for the most reliable and swift call of duty services check out messy modding the link will be down in the description now, i did make a video on this operator skin in the past where we talked about how you're going to be able to claim it but the real question was is it going to be available in warzone 2 and modern warfare 2 multiplayer because this was obviously a warzone promotion if you don't know what it is it's basically warzone mobile is going to be launching around november same time as mw3 but at the same time they're trying to build up hype for this warzone mobile game and they're trying to get people to get it and download it so they're running this promotion where every pre-register helps towards a goal and the more pre-registers we get the more rewards that we unlock so at 5 million you're able to get yourself the vinyl foes flame as well as the emblem called the dark familiar at 10 million down Downloads, you're able to get yourself a weapon blueprint called the X12 Prince of Hell. And then following that at 15 million, you're able to get yourself the M4 Arc Fiend, which is another weapon blueprint. And then once you get to 25 million pre-registers, you're able to get yourself the Ghost Condemned Operator. Shortly after, they ended up adding another goal, which is 35 million, and that would give you Shoot House. Now, since then, all the goals have been reached, so you don't have to worry about that. What you do have to do is make sure that you are pre-registered. Now, here's how to do it. All you have to do is make sure you are on an eligible device. If you don't have one, it'll obviously let you know before you even pre-register and you're going to need to ask someone else to use their phone maybe a parent a friend someone with an eligible device that you can trust but you want to scan either this qr code or go into the app store or google play store and search up warzone mobile the icon looks exactly like this just follow it make sure you have the same exact title it will say expected release date of november 1st 2023 that is going to be the correct one you're going to want to click on the get button once you do that it'll let you know if you have an eligible device or not if it lets you do it, then you are good to go. You just want to see that check mark. Once you have that check mark, you are pretty much pre registered. But the thing is, you're not done yet. It'll let you know that you're going to get a notification once the game officially launches and releases. You're going to want to also download and install it. That is also one of the requirements. So you will need to download. I'm not exactly sure what the size of it looks like. But once you download it, you're going to get the opportunity to log in. This is when you're going to want to log in with your main Activision account. So the same account that you play multiplayer Modern Warfare 2 as well as Warzone zone 2 on your playstation or console or whatever it may be make sure you log in with the same exact activision account don't create a new one or else these cosmetics are not going to transfer over to your account i can't show you that part because this part has not released yet so on november 1st when you're actually able to download the game is when you're going to be able to do this so just make sure you do it correctly and you'll be able to get that added into your game now the thing you need to know about warzone mobile is it is not like cod mobile it's completely different cod mobile is its own thing to have their own cosmetics their own pay system, everything like that's completely different. While Warzone Mobile, on the other hand, is gonna have shared progression and it's gonna be connected directly with COD HQ. So anything that you have in multiplayer, your level, your battle pass, your XP, your weapon blueprints, your operators, your favorite loadouts, just like all that is connected between MW2 and Warzone 2, it's gonna be connected between MW2, Warzone 2, and Warzone Mobile. And then with the launch of MW3, all four of those are gonna be connected together. So very importantly, make sure you go to the App Store and double check that you have that check mark because you're going to need to do that before the launch date of november 1st now one of the major things that i want to talk about is probably the biggest question that you guys may have is will the ghost condemned operator skin be a part of the shared progression because they did say there was going to be quite a few items that don't fit into that category and will not carry on over at the time we thought that it wasn't going to carry on over even cod support was saying that the ghost condemned skin is only going to stay exclusive to warzone mobile but with the last big update that we got the season 5 reloaded update they ended up adding the ghost condemned operator skin into the warzone 2 and modern warfare 2 multiplayer files as an upcoming operator and the best part about this is it's not a part of any bundle so that means they're not going to recycle and try to bring it to the store and sell it to you for some money there's no bundle affiliated with that i've already talked about all the upcoming bundles and one of the things is that you can actually use it and equipped it and put it on in Warzone 2 as well as multiplayer and people with unlock tools and data miners were able to play with it and use it so that means that at this point it is a guarantee that it will come into Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer the real question is will it come in as a free cosmetic with shared progression from Warzone Mobile 
Or is Call of Duty going to try to recycle it and turn it into a bundle for Season 6 or something like that? There's always a small, slight chance that they can do something like that. But I highly doubt it, mainly for the reason that this Ghost Condemned Operator has been in many trailers advertising Warzone Mobile. It's Everyone knows it's tied to Warzone Mobile. All these months and months of promotion, hyping people up to get a free operator like this. And I do recall in the promotion, they specifically said the Ghost Condemned Operator skin is going to be unlocked exclusively in Warzone Mobile, meaning that is the only way that you're ever going to be able to unlock this operator skin but because it was added in mw2 recently that means that the shared progression is going to in fact count for this operator skin and it is going to carry into these multiplayer games and into warzone 2 so that is some good news in my opinion i definitely do believe you should try to get this operator skin it's not every day you see a free ghost skin that you can unlock so if you have the opportunity and chance to get it i would highly recommend that you do that if you do not have an eligible device try to find someone that does because as i mentioned you will need to download the game and you will need to log into it so make sure that you can try to find an eligible device from a family member from a friend maybe someone that you can trust in order to be able to help you get this operator skin now there might be some people out there who already have access to warzone mobile because it was like releasing earlier in some countries but if you do have that already and you've already downloaded it and played it i believe you do count as a pre-register the only reason that you haven't gotten the rewards yet is because it's not released worldwide yet and obviously once it releases worldwide is when they're going to start granting you access so make sure you're logged into your main account as well if you do want to get these rewards on the other platforms as we get closer to the launch of warzone mobile we are going to get a little bit more information on this we do have another big update which is going to be season six towards the end of this month so that means we might have even more information with the update so maybe they're going to add the weapon blueprints and all that other stuff for the cosmetics that we're going to get for the warzone mobile collaboration so i will let you guys know and cover that for you guys as you get more information and more details on that and if you do have any comments in regards to this comment in down below i'll try to help and answer as many people as possible but definitely make sure you take advantage of some free rewards like these make sure to claim them but going on to the next topic that we have this has to do with a brand new update in dmz so it seems like building 21 weapon case is not available in the armory anymore as of right now it's unclear exactly where it's at so players have not been able to find the brand new location Location of it maybe it's been temporarily removed for this new faction mission or challenge that you need to do because it has been replaced with a brand new hostage and this hostage has to do with one of your faction missions so there's a reason for I guess why they did that there may be a new location but players have just not found it yet but that's just what I wanted to let you know about that and the last and final thing is we ended up getting a brand new store update it seems like the dates are accurate because we did get hip hop hutch today so that means so far the dates that we have are pretty accurate and you can expect the tracer pack hip and hopping to be the next one that's going to be on the fifth but this bundle is going to cost you 1800 cod points comes with the big step operator skin for hutch there's also going to be a brand new finishing move it's going to have an iso 45 smg weapon blueprint it's going to have a vehicle skin and some other things such as loading screens emblems and all that and it is going to cost you 1800 cod points and no tracer effects or animation so that is available in the store right now but anyways that's all that I got for you guys in today's video thank you guys for tuning in if you found the video informative or helpful don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you always stay up to date on the latest call of duty news and updates